Hello student, welcome to the new chapter of uh, organic chemistry that is paper 2 alcohol, phenol and ethyl. Now, here in this chapter, uh, uh, till nomenclature will be studying alcohol, phenol and ether uh, at a time together and once the preparation start we'll do with alcohol then phenol then ethers okay so let's start with alcohol phenol and ethers okay now uh, first we we'll see what is the definition of alcohol student now uh, when uh, suppose i take uh, alkane alkane is what rh this is alkane right in alkane if i remove h and i add oh the product so obtained is roh this roh is nothing but alcohol okay so this is also a representation of alcohol so what is the representation of alcohol is roh okay what is the functional group of alcohol? Functional group of alcohol is OH. This is a functional group alcohol. So, when hydroxy group that is OH is attached to some uh, saturated carbon atom, right? Saturated carbon atom like uh, this. This is saturated carbon atom and this OH is attached to this then this uh, product so obtained is alcohol right what is the name of this the name of this is methyl alcohol methyl alcohol right okay now uh, but if OH group is attached to aromatic compound when is attached to aromatic compound directly right then this is what we call is not alcohol but phenol example suppose I take this aromatic compound what is this aromatic compound called? This is nothing but benzene. So my, when my OH is attached to this benzene ring, then this product is phenol. It's not alcohol, student. It's phenol, although it contain OH. So we have to understand when OH is directly attached to R or some saturated carbon atom, then and only then we'll call alcohol. When OH is directly attached to the benzene ring, it will be termed as phenol. But one more class of alcohol is aromatic alcohol. What is this aromatic alcohol? Aromatic alcohol. Now what is this aromatic alcohol, student? Let's understand. Uh, suppose I have this benzene ring. This is aromatic. To this, CH2 is attached. Okay. And now my functional group OH is attached to this carbon. So this carbon is actually, it's not an aromatic carbon. These are aromatic carbon, right? These six carbons are aromatic carbon, but this is not aromatic carbon. Again, this is a saturated aliphatic carbon. This, this, I'm talking about this carbon. Okay, then this will be termed as or this will be called as aromatic alcohol. Clear student? You understood the difference? What is phenol when OH is directly attached? When OH is attached to the carbon which in turn is attached to the aromatic ring then it will be called as aromatic alcohol. In short, this is also an alcohol. Okay, right? Now. Okay, then next is obviously ether. 
what is ether ether is said to be derivative of uh, water student we know water what is what o h h right to this if i replace both the h by r minus 2 h plus 2 r the product so obtained is what there can be lots of definition of ether but this is the simplest one okay so this will be nothing but ether so when the both the hydrogen is uh, is uh, replaced by either uh, r that is alkyl group or both aryl group or one aryl one alkyl in all the cases that will be termed as ether this is ether right okay or it can be also represented as suppose o here i write r and here I write ar means one group uh, can be aromatic one group can be aliphatic or both the group can be aromatic this all is called what this is ether student okay so i hope you understood what is uh, alcohol what is phenol what is ether okay uh, one more thing uh, why we are studying uh, ether in alcohol because we can also say uh, alcohol uh, or the ether is a def uh, derivative of alcohol how come let's see suppose i say i take alcohol r o h and this h is replaced by what alkyl group or aryl group the product obtained will be what r o r so ether is made from alcohol that means ether is a derivative of alcohol right so it is an alkyl derivative of alcohol okay now moving further we'll see classification of ether now first we'll see the classification of uh, not ether but we see the classification of alcohol first okay classification of alcohol okay then alcohol can be classified as monohydric alcohol dihydric alcohol trihydric alcohol and polyhydric alcohol what is this monohydric alcohol mono hydric alcohol uh, monohydric alcohol is when your OH or uh, only when uh, in a compound only one OH is present then it is called monohydric alcohol example CH3OH only one OH is present okay this is monohydric alcohol if I take uh, CH3 CH2 OH this is also monohydric alcohol CH3 CH CH3 OH this is also monohydric alcohol I'm not writing the name uh, right now we'll see the name uh, when we study nomenclature for time being let's understand why it is called monohydric alcohol it is called monohydric alcohol because in this compound only one OH group is present okay next is dihydric alcohol di hydric alcohol when two OH group is present for example I write like this H2 C C H2 OH OH then this is called dihydric alcohol right because why it is called dihydric di means two two OH group is present that's why dihydric I write CH3 CH CH2 OH OH again two OH group is present that's why dihydric clear student okay 
now moving further try hydric alcohol now in trihydric alcohol example is this actually this is nothing but it is a class of glycerol this is class of glycol we we'll see further OH since 3 OH is present that's why trihydric alcohol clear similarly we can write one more uh, group that is polyhydric alcohol poly polyhydric alcohol example is sorbitol student uh, ch2 ch2 4 5 again ch2 6 carbon and all the carbon contain OH this we call uh, poly when we call polyhydric alcohol when there is more of uh, four or more than four OH group present in a given compound then that comes under the category of polyhydric alcohol here six is present we can also call this hexa uh, hydric alcohol but the name is sorbitol Okay, student, clear with this? Simple, right? Now, moving forward. Next is classification. When, uh, uh, see, this classification of monodihydric uh, is also applicable as far as phenol is concerned. Okay. For example, I mentioned here only. This is monohydric. If I take a phenolic group, then this is monohydric phenol. Right? If I take this one. This is trihydric phenol. Okay, student. For trihydric, OH, OH, OH. This is trihydric phenol. Okay, so monohydric, trihydric, and trihydric can be classified for. Uh, uh, alcohol as well as for phenol right okay now next classification will be that alcohol alcohol in which uh, OH group is attached OH group is attached where to that carbon which is S P3 hybridized. Okay, all right, write like this to the carbon which is sp3 hybridized. Okay, so next classification is again I'm repeating OH is attached to that carbon which is sp3 hybridized. Okay. And that can be further classified in as primary, secondary, and tertiary. Let's see how. We'll see the example. Uh, first, let's talk about one degree alcohol. Right. Let's see. Carbon This is one degree alcohol. Why it is one degree alcohol? Because the OH group is present with the carbon which is not attached to any other Right. See primary alcohol can be if it is not attached to any other carbon or When it is attached to only one carbon, you, you remember what is primary carbon atom? 
primary carbon atom is that carbon atom which is attached only one carbon right so this is primary one degree alcohol again i have carbon i have carbon right if to this carbon or to this carbon if my oh group is present so this carbon becomes primary why does it become primary because the functional group carbon is attached to only one carbon right then it will be called as one degree alcohol that is primary alcohol right uh, i satisfy the valency right so these are what primary alcohol okay let's take secondary alcohol that is two degree alcohol Now, in 2 degree alcohol, what is the condition? OH sh should be attached to the carbon which is 2 degree. What is 2 degree carbon? The carbon which is attached to 2 carbon. Example, I have this 2 carbon, uh, 3 carbon sorry, but this carbon is attached to 2 carbon. Right? That means this is secondary carbon and this is attached to only 1 carbon. This is also attached to only 1 carbon. So, these 2 carbon are 1 degree carbon. So, if my OH is present to the secondary uh, carbon then it will be called as secondary alcohol let's satisfy the valency ch3 and here i write h right this is two degree alcohol clear student okay right now moving further Three degree alcohol. Three degree alcohol is that alcohol in which the functional group OH is attached to the carbon, which is three degree carbon, right? And what is three degree carbon? Three degree is carbon that carbon which is attached to three other carbons. So if I write here OH, it becomes three degree alcohol. Clear? Understood, student? Simple? Okay. Now. Next is allylic alcohol. Allylic alcohol. Student, so before we move, what is allylic alcohol? We should understand what is allylic carbon. What is allylic group? You remember, we have studied this in our last chapter. That is halogen derivatives. Okay. Now, let's see. In this also, in this group also OH is attached to the carbon which is sp3 but this carbon is attached to the carbon which is sp2 or double bonded carbon right we'll see the example this is also sp uh, sp3 right this is sp3 okay now uh, I take CH2 double bond CH Okay, to this one more CH2 is present and to this OH is present. Okay, let's understand. Okay, my functional group that is OH is attached to the carbon. This carbon is sp3 hybridized, right? But this carbon is not attached to sp3 carbon but sp2 carbon. And this group student this group is called what allylic right okay understood okay so when oh is present to this carbon obviously this is going to be allylic alcohol clear this can also be primary secondary tertiary okay can you tell me what is this primary secondary or tertiary see so oh is present to the carbon and this carbon is attached to only one carbon so this is primary if I want to make a secondary or tertiary, how it can be? Let's see. CH2 double bond CH C. I write here CH3. Here H. This is 1 degree allylic carbon. This is going to be 2 degree allylic carbon. 2 degree. Okay, student. You understood this? clear okay now moving to the next 
is 3 degree. What happened to the 3 degree? CH2 double bond CH C CH3 CH3 OH. This become 3 degree allylic alcohol. Allylic alcohol. Is it clear? Simple? Okay. Now, going further. Next one is benzylic alcohol. Benzylic alcohol. I hope this is visible. Okay. Now, what is benzylic alcohol? When, remember this is very important. Suppose I have benzene ring and if to this benzene ring my OH is present. So can we call this benzylic alcohol? Yes? No student. This is not benzylic alcohol but actually it's a phenol. So when I can say the given alcohol is benzylic alcohol, when I have a benzene ring to this some carbon is present to this carbon if OH is present then this will be termed as benzylic alcohol right clear student okay now this can also be 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree this is 1 degree because here the OH is present to carbon which is as uh, attached to only one carbon right so this is 1 degree if I write 2 degree benzylic alcohol, then it can be written like this. Uh, CH3HOH. This is again a benzylic alcohol, but now this carbon is attached to two carbon, this carbon and this carbon. If I want to write 3 degree, I can also write 3 degree. How come? Let's see. C, CH3, CH3, OH. This is nothing but 3 degree benzylic alcohol. Clear? Right. Now, one more classification student. Okay. This classification is based on we have carbon OH group is present, but this carbon which is attached to the OH should be sp2 hybridized. This is what? It should be sp2 hybridized. Okay. Clear? Remember? Okay. Now, uh, suppose CH2 double bond CH. This group. So in this group is what? Actually, this is a vinylic group. Remember, what is allylic? Allylic is this. CH2 double bond CH, CH2 this. This is allylic. This one is vinylic. What is the difference here? This carbon is sp3 hybridized. But this carbon is sp2 hybridized. If this OH is present here, then the OH is present to the carbon which is sp2 hybridized and this is called vinylic alcohol. What is this called? This is called vinylic alcohol. I hope this is clear. Right. Uh, or, or we call as vinyl alcohol. Right. It's better we write when this is uh, this type is vinylic alcohol and this name is what? Vinyl alcohol. Clear? Okay, student. Now, next classification is of ether. Next classification is uh, 
classification of ether okay this ether can be symmetrical or unsymmetrical symmetrical ether it is also called as simple ether this is also called as simple ether they are very simple also student let's understand this very simple see we just uh, see what is the functional group of ether how we represent ether ether is r o r or r o r dash i can write okay that means oxygen is divalent and here two alkyl group is present if this alkyl group that is ch3 ch3 in this r is equal to r dash right so when r and r dash are equal then it is called symmetrical ether or it is also called as simple ether right clear very simple student both the alkyl group if same then we call symmetrical ether next is un symmetrical ether or we also called as mixed ether okay what is that unsymmetrical ether or mixed ether what happened in this case in this case r and r dash are not equal they are not same okay then can be different or I can write, uh, see, not necessarily R, it can be aromatic compound also. In this case, both will be same. In this case, R, uh, aromatic or aliphatic. Both are not same. Right? Let's take example. Suppose I write CH3OC2H5. See, here is methyl, here is ethyl. So this is unsymmetric ether or at uh, one case I take phenyl group and here I take suppose CH3 okay then again this is not a uh, simple ether it's a mixed ether because both is different clear right so uh, we completed the classification part okay now student uh, today we stop over here in next lecture we'll be doing nomenclature first and then probably we'll be starting with the preparation part okay thanks student thanks for watching